Hello and welcome to Lisona Crochet. In this place we are not just crocheting, we are also enjoying and having fun. Because here on this channel we are a family, we are a community, we are all friends. So please subscribe to the channel, like the video and hit that notification button because this way you're gonna find out when new patterns are coming to the channel. Now let's start. Let's get started. This is the wildflower that we did in the previous video. And now we're gonna join together multiple also in the same video I will show you how to make six petal wildflower and four petal wildflower because we're gonna need all three types the first type it is eight petals like this one we're gonna need a six petal and a four petal I will show you how you gonna join as you go and in which order you gonna place them because it is very important the order that we gonna put them together so for the moment I will leave this on the side and I want to show you something over here I have this pattern alright this is how we gonna put them And we're gonna start from the corner with this one. This one will be this one. Exactly like this. In the description of this video you can download this uh, PDF file and you can print it out like this. So this is gonna make it much easier because then you can take the pen and you can write uh, on the actual paper which one you already made and you're gonna see exactly the joints so in the description of this video you're gonna find this file so you can print it out and work with it the wildflower so we're gonna start with this one we already did in uh, the previous video all right so we will not create this one because we have it already if you didn't go through the first video Please go and check that video, in that video I will show you exactly how you create the wildflower. In this video I will just show you how you join them and how you create the 6 petal wildflower and the 4 petal wildflower. Okay, we see we need this for the border. Like this. Perfect. So, this one is this one. We need to create now this one. I will take another paper. because I want to be able to scratch on this one you see it's the same one but it's black and white so over here I can take my pen and mark this one that I already have here okay and now we're gonna create this one I'll leave this by the side because we don't need this at the moment so I will use a different color for the second flower so you can see the difference when we are joining you can use the same color you can use different colors as you want so I'll go a little faster for this one because I already showed you how you make the wildflower so I will just uh, go through fast so we get to the joining part so this is the circle from the middle now we're gonna start creating the pedals as I showed you in the first video 
nothing different here. So I created the first pedal. Now we're gonna create the second one. And we're gonna use the second pedal to join the first wildflower, okay? So, for the second pedal, I will chain seven. All right. And you see here that when we are joining the two flowers together, we don't join them like this directly with a straight line. It is in the corners like this. We join, we have here the joint, it is in a corner. You see? the corner of this pedal and the corner of this one the two corners they are gonna be joined not straight like this this is a straight line so if we join them this is a pedal okay And if we join the second one like this, for the second wildflower, okay? And this is a join, okay? This is a straight join. This is wrong. Okay? The way we're gonna join them, it is in the corners. Like this. And this is a join over here and this is good all right we need the pedals to be in this way so I will have a pedal like this and this is from the other wildflower and another one will be like this so let's say this is the first wildflower okay and this is the second one my join will be over here in this corner and this corner and you see that if we see here this is the first one okay let's see let's put it like this so this is the first wildflower that we have we need a join in this corner and a join in this corner okay we're gonna join them like this as you can see over here and to if you feel this is hard to remember you can use stitch markers in these two corners so we remember where we want to join like this so we're gonna join in the blue stitch marker and the yellow stitch marker alright 
So for each pedal it will be like this, for each group of pedals. This is the first group, we will have here another group where we will have these two spots and the other group with these two spots and so on. But before we get to that, let's not complicate things, we are gonna join in these two spots. So we're gonna change 7. We will work 6 half double crochet. Chain 3. Join in the bottom, in the circle. Chain 1 turn. 9 half double crochet. I chain one, turn, and now we're gonna do the join over here. Okay, so basically we did a little more than half of the pedal. This pedal is not done yet, but we're gonna do the join in this point. So I have the loop on my hook from the last chain one that we did. All right, I will take my hook out, I'll go in this stitch that I have with the blue marker basically if they face me the markers they face me is the one from the right okay we, for, we always do the pedal from the right and after that the pedal from the left and over here the same this will be the pedal from the right and then we're gonna do the pedal from the left and I'll show you how you join this one also because they are different. The join is different because the corners are different. So, I have the loop on my hook, I take it out and I go in this one, in the, st in the stitch with the blue stitch marker, okay? And I go from the top to the bottom, like this. And I go and I take this loop from my second wildflower and I pull it through the stitch like this now I take the stitch marker out we don't chain we just continue working the last six half double crochet from this pedal So we did the second pedal and we join in this corner. As you can see, there's not a full pedal straight over here joining like this. This should be wrong. Okay? We join just the coil. Now let's create the second pedal with a join in the yellow stitch. We will chain seven like usual. Again, I'll take my hook out, I'll go in this stitch from the top to the bottom, I will grab this loop and I'll pull it through this stitch, like this. And we're gonna continue working 6 half double crochet and we're gonna finish this pedal the normal way as I showed you in the first video. With six half double crochet chain three join over here in the circle 
doing in the next stitch because we need two slip stitch chain one we turn we work nine half double crochet you can take this stitch out now chain one turn six half double crochet and this is the second join over here you see only in the corners as I showed you here, we join all in the corner. So if we take this and we put it over here, see it is the same. We have actually it's the opposite, but it doesn't matter at all. We have here the first wildflower, and this is the second wildflower. We will finish it, don't worry. But I just wanted to show you the join. Alright? And now we will continue working on this wildflower but because I have these two tails from the beginning from the circle I will also show you how you work over them so we create a pedal like we usually do with chain 7 Skip the first stitch, work six half double crochet, chain three, go in the circle from the beginning, identify which one is the next stitch because here is the beginning, it's a bit tricky. So I take these tails in my left hand with me and I go over them and I do a slip stitch and a slip stitch in the next stitch. I keep the tails in my left hand. I chain one. Now when I turn, I take these tails with me in my left hand and I turn only the work. And now I will work over these tails nine half double crochet. nine half double crochet now we can cut these two tails be careful not to cut the working yarn just the tails chain one turn six half double crochet And this is how you work over the tails. Now continue working four more pedals the normal way because we have nothing else to join on so we just go the normal way and we meet at the end when you finish this wildflower. Alright, so I finished my 8 pedal. I joined them here in the first stitch from the beginning. I'll take this one out. And I have two tails left. The one from the beginning of the pedal and the one from the last pedal. I'll make a knot between them. Like this two be sure that this doesn't open now I take my needle and I wave in this end
so I have this tail left and this I have four tails left from one wild flower two tails is they are from the circle from the middle and two tails from the end four tails so as you can see I have here a lot of tails left from this project and this project is not over yet I just did by myself I did half of it I have here half of the project and this is the yarn that I generated from half of the project so basically I will have double tails by the end of this project all right so because I don't want to throw this uh, scrap yarn I created this video with this scrap yarn check out that video after this one and I hope you enjoy now let's continue with the pattern so we have these two wildflowers as you can see these two wildflowers they are this one this is this one where I will see here one all right I don't know if you can notice this one but I type one Okay, and this is the second one that we just created you can find this PDF you can find the file for this print in the description down below and you can download it from there and this is two okay anyway now we're gonna create the third one so we go with this one and then Two, and this will be three and then I have four five six seven eight nine ten and so on we're gonna join them together so let's create this one now this one also has two joints you see that between one and two we had two joints in the corners like this now these two they have the same a uh, join here and a join here all right so let's make number three so because these two they are like this and we said we're gonna join here and here i'll take my stitch markers again okay and i see where i have the dots i have the dots over here okay as you can see two dots like this the joinings so they will be over here because this is the first wildflower this is the second one so we join the third one with the second one so I will attach the stitch marker in the corner as my um, pattern requires okay I will always check the pattern that's why I recommend you to download the, this file it's gonna be very helpful it's very hard to not get lost without this file the pattern like this all right so now i know this is the place where we are gonna join the third pedal So I have here already a circle from the middle We're gonna work the first pedal the way we normally do with the chain 7 and we meet at the second pedal where we're gonna do the join the first pedal I worked over the tails directly 
so I get them out of the way. As I said, it doesn't matter in which stitch you join the circle. Now we're gonna do a chain 7. We're gonna work 6 half double crochet. Chain 3, join the next stitch in the circle, and another slip stitch, chain 1 turn, work 9 half double crochet, chain one now with this loop we're gonna join so i take my crochet hook out this is the way we always join we take the crochet hook out we go in the stitch that we want to join from the top to the bottom and we take this loop and pull it through that stitch and take uh, the stitch marker out turn and continue working 6 half double crochet like we usually do now for the second join we're gonna chain seven. We take the crochet hook out, we go in the yellow stitch. Okay, but we need to put it flat on the table first. So we can see, so because it can get twisted, so we need it flat on the table. like this oops I took my see this is uh, dangerous you need to do this before so I take my crochet hook out I go into this stitch that we have the stitch marker on in the very corner okay and we go to I actually I will take this out because it's hard to put my crochet there with my stitch marker now I know where I have to place it so I go from the top to the bottom alright and I go and I take this loop out with me you see the, the chain that we the sixth chain okay we made seven but the last one it is very small that it became very small very tight I don't know if you can notice that's the one that we skip okay so we work from here a total of six half double crochet Chain 3, join, another slip stitch, because we need 2 slip stitches, chain 1, turn, work 9 half double crochet, Alright, chain one, turn, and six half double crochet.
and we created three pedals with two joints. As you can see, we joined as it shows here. All right, let me put it like this. We have the joint here, the two points that I showed you earlier are these two points, alright? So we have wildflower number one, wildflower number two, and this will be wildflower number three. Alright, and we have the two points of joining over here. Now continue finishing this wildflower and we meet there at the end of this one to show you what you have to do next. I finished the third wildflower. We have here the, the group of one, two and three. Okay, one, two and three. And now we have to create this one. This is four. All right. This is number four. Number four is gonna join with number two. And it's gonna have also two points of joining. One here and one here. Okay, so here we join here, here we join here, and here we join like this, have two points. So let's place the stitch markers for the second wildflower. This is the second wildflower. We see here the two joining points that we have, two is three, okay. And over here, we have to join the fourth wildflower. So I will attach the stitch marker. I'll check here where is the corner. So this is the corner of the number two. And this is the other corner over here for number two okay the two joints we have here so i will also attach a stitch marker in this corner so you're gonna create that wildflower the number four by yourself because i showed you already how you do the joint i want to show you the number five because the number five is gonna have two points of joining here and two points of joining here so it is important to show you this one the number four you will work it by yourself all right and you do this join the join it is identical like we did here and here okay if you don't remember how we join just move this video a little back i'll have a timestamp for the third one and second one so just move back if you don't remember how we joined and it is identical but you put it here all right where we put the stitch markers and we meet after this one so i can show you the number five okay let's go so i created the fourth wildflower this is the shape that i'm having right now now we're gonna create the fifth one all right number five that is gonna go over here and it's gonna have four points of joining two here five with three and also two here five with four all right Unfortunately, I don't have four stitch markers on me now 
but let's do this way i will use two stitch marker for this one i'll place one here just to check the design where it is all right so we have one here and one in this corner and for this one i will just use two scrap yarns that i have around to mark these two corners the one it is over here like this and one it is over here so we have the four marks all right two here and two here i will take these tails out this is just to mark the corners all right so i first i check the design and then i place the stitch markers and now let's do this one so i created the circle from the middle and the first petal and i also or worked over the tails i'll cut these tails put them in the basket and now we're gonna work a pedal that is gonna join here all right so we change seven we skip the first stitch and work six half double crochet chain three joining the circle in the beginning joining the next stitch chain one turn work nine half double crochet Alright, and now we chain one turn, and after we turn, we take the crochet out, and we're going this stitch that we marked in the third wildflower. Okay, so I go from the top to the bottom, I go and I take this loop out like this. And we continue working six half double crochet. We can take this stitch out, this stitch marker, I mean. Now work seven half double, seven chains. We go in this mark that we have here, basically will be this one we take the crochet hook out I will also take the mark out and we go in the corner and we take the loop and you, we pull it through this corner and now we continue working six half double crochet We join with slip stitch in the circle and in the next one, chain one and we turn, work nine half double crochet. And we created the join between number five and number three all right the two points we have two points here now we're gonna create these two points so we're gonna chain seven we're gonna do six half double crochet
join with slip stitch in the next stitch join also in the next one we need two slip stitches chain one turn work nine half double crochet chain one turn and now with this loop we're gonna join here in this yellow stitch marker so i will just pull this loop through this stitch i will take the marker out and we're gonna continue working six half double crochet Now for the last join of this well flower over here, we're gonna chain seven. With this loop, we're gonna go in this stitch that we have here. It will be this one from the top. And we're gonna drag this loop the stitch I'll take the marker out work six half double crochet chain three slip stitch in the circle slip stitch in the next stitch chain one turn Work nine half double crochet. Chain one, turn. Work six half double crochet. And this is how you do a double join so i did a double join once we joined here and once we joined here for number five all right now continue working on this we need three more pedals over here all right and we meet after this one i want to show you also number six we're gonna do something different for number six so finish this one and we meet just in a moment so i finished the wildflower i created all the eight petals so now we have one two three four five all right one two three four and five we created all this together okay now i will show you for number six for number six we're gonna do something different i want to show you a different way that you can join the wild flowers okay so number six is gonna be a join with number five in two points right just watch me you don't have to do this right now just see if this method fits you better than the other method that we worked until now so what i showed you until now was join as you go the second method to join this i'll move them up a little so we can have here some space all right and we're gonna work like this i already created a wild flower separate it is not joined with the others, right? And it is full. It's not half, it's not anything. It's just a wildflower, a beautiful, dark purple wildflower. All right? And 
in one of the pedals I walked the tails from the circle I walked them inside and I cut the tails all right but I still have two tails left the one from the pedal from the beginning and the one from the pedal from the end all right and we're gonna use these two pedal these two ends to join the pedals so I will use a needle this time to join we're gonna do the same way and we're gonna use stitch markers so I will do a stitch mark here and we just marked this corner and we're gonna stitch mark also this one that is this one all right and I have my needle with a tail okay and you see that the tail starts from the tail starts from between two pedals all right so I will just wave it in in this corner because I can see here the corner that I need to go okay as we have here see as we have here you see so I will just wave it in to go on that corner that I need now I will with my needle I will go here and I'll go out and one more time through both of them for both pedals okay we can go even one more time that's up to you how many times you go but not too much because it's gonna get ugly and now just wave it in like you usually do and cut this tail And now let's do the other one so I will wave in this to go to this corner over here I'll use my needle and go in this stitch that I have my mark on now I will go between both pedals like this and one more time to secure it now wave this inside the pedal with the same color one more time Cut this tail take the stitch mark out and the second one and voila we did another join this was for number six all right and we join with a needle we didn't join as we go right and I will tell you but for me personally that, that that's just me all right for me personally I prefer to join with the needle and I will tell you why I prefer this way using a needle because you have to wave the two ends anyway right so you're gonna use a needle to wave it in and you can also do a little joining here like what's the big deal about it there is no big deal so i prefer this way that this that we join as you go because it can go because it can get a bit confusing with the joining you know and you're also another um 
benefit of joining with the needle it is that when you join as you go all right you always have to carry this with you join here you carry all this weight with you it gets bigger you carry it with you but the the second method you just leave it on the table it doesn't matter and when you have you work the wildflower all right and you go to the first video and you work it like that a full wildflower and when you finish it you'll have two tails left at the end and you come and you join and you join using the design the design still applies all right but that's up to you what what method fits you better that's the one that you're gonna use both are right both will look the same you can see here a join with the needle and the join with the let's say joining as we go so if they look basically the same but i feel this one it is easier so yes follow the design you're gonna continue working the same way so we did one two three four five six after that you're gonna do seven eight nine ten and so one eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and we're gonna need a total of 36 full When I mean full, I mean eight petals, okay? A full wild flower is an eight petal wild flower, all right? This is what we're gonna need. We're gonna create this first, okay? This middle section that we have here without the edge okay we're gonna create this section all right and after that we're gonna do the four pedal wildflower and the six this is a four this is a six okay i will show you how you do those also so this is the end of part one we created the eight pedals in part two, we're gonna continue working with the six pedal and the four pedal. I will show you how you join as you go, and also how you join using a needle and sewing the joint. So, I hope I see you in part two. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment, and hit that notification button because this way you're gonna find out when new patterns are coming to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you in part two. Bye!